first met Rob when I was cheering for the Bolingbrook Trojans and he was playing football. Um, we were in elementary school, we went to different elementary schools, but ended up going to middle school and high school together. Now it's we've known each other for so long and like we were, I was talking to her about it, just we're getting married now. So I've already felt like we've been married because we've been together for so long. The one thing that was wrong, probably just her smile at the time, I mean, I thought she was super attractive. So I was like, all right, I mean, that's high school life, I guess, you're just like, hey, you know, I'm trying to go for the hot chick at school. So I mean, like, to be honest. <laughs> My baby girl, Nicolette. I remember those days when I worked nights and I would have to babysit you during the day. I remember a bundle of energy. I remember having to do your hair before preschool. I remember the enormous amount of money I spent on your gymnastics lessons. And I remember the countless hours of worrying about you when you started to date Rob. You were the bubbly cheerleader, and he was the tough football player. But because you're smart, focused, strong, caring, we trusted your judgment. And welcome, Rob, into our family. I knew I loved Rob when he first kissed me in the hallway, walking me to class. The thing I love most about Rob is that he makes me laugh all the time. There's never a moment when he can't put a smile on my face. Rob, I love you so much and I'm so excited for our future together. I can't wait to spend forever with you, to build our lives together, to laugh, to cry, to make memories. I'm just so excited to be with you forever. one instance when I first time I said I love you to her and it was we were making out on my parents stairs at another party at my house <laughs> and I said I love you to her and she was just kind of like shocked and I was like all right and uh, yeah I mean that was the, the one time I kind of knew it even though it was so long ago but it really meant it so I'm most excited to see Rob for the first time dressed in a suit. I know he wanted to be in all black, so um, that's what I'm most excited for is to see him for the first time. I'm gonna get lipstick all over you. I love you. not just a welcome, but a thank you. I know that you've all carried some bits of them with you over the years, moving them day by day towards this particular moment. At some point tonight, I invite each of you to look out over the full party as I can right now, and it is truly beautiful.
The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. The little things are the big things. It's never too old to old hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. You are my best friend, my rock, my everything. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. Hopefully I can keep it somewhat together, unlike when I proposed. You are the strongest woman I've ever met. AKA, you are a boss ass bitch. You find the positive in me when I'm being a grumpy cat, moody or angry. You look past my faults and have made me a better person. I love you. I love that you push me to go out when I don't want to. You are my soulmate and I will never stop fighting for you. I promise I will always be there for you, no matter the circumstance. I love talking about our future together with children, a house, where we want to travel. I couldn't picture that with anyone except you. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with it, I bestow upon thee. And with it, I bestow upon thee. <laughs> All the treasures of my mind, my heart, and my hands. My mind, my heart, and my hands. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. And with it, I bestow upon thee. And with it, I bestow upon thee. All the treasures. All the treasures. Of my mind, my heart, and my hands. All the treasures of my mind, my heart, my hands. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the groom. have been through the good times and the bads your love for one another always rose to the occasion so take care of one another and enjoy these moments life has to offer I wish you nothing but a long life full of love happiness little baby Franklin's and lots and lots of trips to st. Louis Rob Rob, you have been such a great friend to me, but an even better partner to Nikki. Your love for her is admirable, and I know you will continue to love, cherish, and support her from here on out. Um, Rob is one of the most stand-up guys I've ever met. I want to thank you for loving my best friend the way she deserves. You're all the things I hope for for my best friend. And I'm so grateful that you found her and that you guys share the love that you do. Over the last 12 years, I watched your love grow stronger each day. I thank God you two found each other. Rob, you've become like another son. 
and Lori. Very strong, confident young man. And I used to be Nikki's protector. Now she's all yours. You guys are an inspiration for everybody here, um, truly. I think that everybody here is here for you tonight because they believe in you. You guys inspire us. They believe that, that you're going to make it. Having known both of you individually beforehand, there is no doubt in my mind that this is what true love is and what it has always been. Remember, love is not about how much you say I love you. It is about how and what you do to prove it. Please raise your glasses and toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Fife.